I rarely return to the apps that I feature on this channel, but this one has had such a massive impact on my productivity that I can't help but bring it up again. Back in April this year, I suggested that Brain.fm might be the best focus app for work. Quite a big claim, I'm aware of that, but three months later, and having used this every single day to get stuff done, I think I was right. Better still, I think this app has made me more productive than I've ever been in my entire life. I know all of this sounds like hyperbole, but it's true. This has come at a time when this business has gone absolutely crazy. I've, I'm just so, so busy. I've barely got any time to think to myself. So when I'm doing stuff where I really need to lock into what I'm doing, this app helps me do just that. And that is why Brain.fm feels like a knight in shining armor. It's not free, you have to buy it, but I would buy this again and again and again if I needed to. The good news is they've offered to sponsor this video, which is very kind of them, but they've also retained their 20% discount for anyone who clicks the link in my description. So if you want to try out Brain.fm, try the link. But first, I probably need to convince you a little bit more about why you should do that. So what is Brain.fm? Well, Brain.fm relies on a, and this is them saying this, not me, a science-first approach, which basically means it pipes music into your ears that affects your brain differently than any other music. Again, that is their marketing talk, but it's not hyperbole. The team behind Brain.fm know all about the science stuff that goes into the sounds and music produced by this app. Now, I don't at all, and I'm going to throw some words at you now that I don't understand, but that kind of explain what this app does. So by using patented neuromodulation, Brain.fm does something called neural phase locking. Now that might sound immediately impenetrable, but I'm about as far from a scientist as you can imagine, and I've managed to work out, I think, what that means. In simple terms that mere mortals like myself can understand, Brain.fm contains a library of audio tracks that are free from lyrics and which kind of drift along on these repetitive rhythms, beats and chord progressions. And some of them don't even change key, they just kind of float along on this one long chord that kind of filters in and out of existence. To give you a feel for this music rather than me talking about it, here are some examples. Magic lies in the way the music pulsates, the frequencies kind of bounce up and down at varying intervals, and they magically lock in with your brain's own fluctuating rhythms, and that is supposed to promote coordinated activity. Now all of this sounds highly questionable, I know, I get it, and trust me, I'd be the first person at the back of the class right now to put their hand up and say, what a load of rubbish. But it isn't, it really, really works. And these are five reasons Brain.fm is an essential tool for me. I'm the sort of person who will stick with an app or a platform once it starts to deliver results. So for example, things like Final Cut Pro, Ulysses for writing, Spark Email. Once I get used to an app and I build a workflow around it, and more importantly, it starts to benefit what I do, I stick with it. Brain.fm now sits among those apps. That is how important it is to my daily work. It goes straight onto every phone that I'm using, and it's as important to my iPad mini as the fantastic paper-like screen protector. More importantly, Brain.fm has replaced my previous reliance on Spotify for playlists like movie soundtracks and spa music. I used to use Spotify for that sort of thing to get things done, and I now know that it doesn't work. So as noted, I used to be a big Spotify user when it came to productivity music, if you can call it that. And in fact, my library is still full of those movie soundtrack collections and study with me playlists. And occasionally, and out of pure curiosity, I'll head back into Spotify and remind myself of what's in there and just see if I can still work with that music playing. I can't. In fact, I can't really work on anything where I really need to hone into what I'm doing if Brain.fm isn't playing. And now if I listen to one of those movie soundtrack playlists on Spotify, I just get distracted straight away. And I think it's because of the kind of immediate recognition I have of those tracks. So for instance, if the Jurassic Park theme comes on, I used to work to the Jurassic Park theme all the time. But when it comes on now, 
I just think about dinosaurs. And my work has nothing to do with dinosaurs, which makes that vastly unhelpful. By comparison, Brain.fm plays that kind of completely unrecognizable music, which you can just listen to again and again and again, and without fatigue. And because there's no lyrics, there's no memory attached to that music, you can just lock in and get on with what you're doing. I'm a writer by trade as well as what I do with these videos, and I can't remember the last time I stared at a blank page. That hasn't happened for a long, long time, and it seems to coincide with me using Brain.fm. And trust me, this used to happen all of the time. Anyone who writes for a living, whether you do copywriting or blog writing, whatever it might be, you'll know that the worst thing possible is that first sentence. When you can't get that first sentence down, you're onto a pretty bad day straight away. And there have been so many times in the past where I've rewritten and rewritten the first sentence of a blog. That just hasn't happened since I've started listening to Brain.fm. There's just something about the creative state, for want of a much better phrase, that Brain.fm locks you into that appears at the moment anyway, to get rid of writer's block. I do need longer with this to test it a bit more, but at the moment, in that regard, it is magic. Brain.fm also makes spending money on expensive headphones worth it. Now bear with me on this one. If you know me by now, you'll know that I'm a bit of a headphone connoisseur. This studio is full of them, both for review purposes, but also because I genuinely love noise cancelling headphones. However, they are not cheap. You can buy cheap noise cancelling headphones, and there are some good ones on the market, but if you want a really good pair, you're gonna spend anywhere from 250 to 350 and perhaps more once you've been wowed by the big brands like Sony and Bose. Now the important thing with Brain.fm is that you do need a decent pair of noise cancelling headphones, simply because without them you'll lose much of the effect that you get from all that neuro phase locking stuff. It's why Brain.fm, I think, provides the perfect excuse to treat yourself to a nice pair of noise cancelling headphones. Right, full disclosure, Brain.fm is a supporter of this channel. They are sponsoring this video. And if you click the link in the description and save yourself that 20% on the subscription, I do receive a kickback for it. It's one of the ways my business generates revenue and it ensures I can keep the lights on and keep making videos. And the interesting thing about these affiliate relationships, apart from obviously getting paid for them, is that you see how popular certain things are. So when I review a certain product, if it has an affiliate deal with it, then I know how many units are being sold. Since publishing the first review of Brain.fm on this channel and also on my blog, there have been a ton of signups through my affiliate link. But more importantly, I've received positive feedback from some of the people that have done that. This is very rare. When you're working on this side of the fence, it becomes very clear which products are popular, and Brain.fm fits squarely into that category. Can you tell I'm a huge fan of Brain.fm? I just can't get enough of it, guys, honestly. And I totally understand that it may not be for you. You might be perfectly happy with your playlists on Spotify or other stuff that you use to lock yourself into your working state. And that's totally fine. We're all individual. We all have different ways of doing this. But Brain.fm has made such a difference to my day. If you started using Brain.fm after my recommendation, or if you've been using it for a long time anyway, I'd love to hear about your experiences with this app. Equally, if you've got a different method of locking yourself into that deep work state, let me know about it. Get involved in the comments. And remember, if you want to try out Brain.fm yourself, just click the link in the description and get yourself 20% off the subscription. Thank you again to Brain.fm for sponsoring this video. Very, very kind of you guys. And if you want to watch my original video, the original review for Brain.fm, keep watching for a link.